Okay, so in this video, we're going to be moving from the anterior flexor muscles to the uh, posterior extensor muscles. So if you look at all the extensor muscles in the, in the arm, uh, their points of origin by and large <clears throat> are in the lateral epicondyle of the, of the humerus, and their insertion points are at the base of the metacarpals in the hand. Uh, these <clears throat> the actions of these muscles are to extend the wrists and abduct fingers and hands. So the first one that we're going to start off with is the extensor carpi radialis uh, longus. So uh, just like it says, and if you look, if you compare uh, the extensor carpi radialis longus to the extensor carpi radialis brevis, um, just based off of the terms. The, the Latin original terms, longus meaning the longer version of the muscle, brevis being the shorter version. So you notice that the longus is attached, its point of origin is at the lateral parts of the humerus, whereas the brevis is at the lateral epicondyle of the, um, of the humerus. So besides their, <clears throat> their length difference, they also have a point of origin difference as well. But they both end up at the base of the second metacarpal so moving on from those two muscles, we now go to the extensor uh, digitorum. So this extensor digitorum uh, muscle is, post is a posterior face, uh, <clears throat> has a posterior surface on the, uh, on the phalanges uh, 2, 3, 4, and 5. As you notice that this muscle, as it extends distally to the arm, it divides into four separate ligaments going into digits two, three, four, and five. Okay, so again, uh, these muscles on the posterior part of the arm, their main function is to extend uh, the wrist and fingers. So they, whereas your <clears throat> the muscles on the anterior part, they they create the fist on the posterior. They open up the fist. Okay, so. Now going on to uh, our fourth muscle, the extensor digiti minimi. Okay, so the extensor digiti minimi. Uh, again, this one, its point of origin is also at the uh, lateral part of the humerus, the lat lateral epicondyle, and as you can see, that it extends all the way down to the pinky. So extensor digiti minimi. So that mini pinky, if you will. Okay, and then the fifth one is the extensor carpi ulnaris. Okay, so, you know, just by going by the name again, luckily for us, uh, the posterior muscles, the names of the muscles give an indication as to their location. So for this one, this one runs down alongside the ulnaris, and it also connects down at the base metacarpal for the, uh, the pinky bone. Okay. So finally, we're going to be dealing with the uh, extensor muscles that have to do with the thumb and the index finger. Okay, so the first one is the abductor pollicis longus. Okay, so that's the one that's highlighted right now that goes that stretches down all the way to the thumb. This muscle is the muscle that allows you to extend your thumb out and give a wide open hand. And the muscle that's just inferior to that is your extensor pollicis brevis. And then you have the extensor pollicis longus, which both of these muscles have the same function in uh, extending the thumb. So the thumb has quite a bit of muscle, uh, quite a few muscles that work with it in terms of extending it or even adducting it. Because uh, that's kind of where you, that's where you get uh, your, your grip strength. So the last, the last muscle is the extensor indices, which is the, uh, the muscle dealing with the index finger, and that allows you to point your finger in a direction or to something. And that concludes the muscles, the extensor muscles of the posterior forearm.